Hopefully this uh, mic is recording because last time I checked it worked. I don't think I used my power box because uh, I had the battery in the wrong way when I tried to charge it. So yeah. So as you guys can see probably, here is the baby girl Kristen. She's a little, little, little beat up actually. Not that bad. Um, this handlebar right here. Uh, hold on, let's see if I can do this. Ooh. All right, all right, all right, all right. This handlebar right here, whenever I do this to go all the way, it actually touches the gas tank. Actually, that you should do that too, but it's a little bit worse now. And um, I think all I need to do is just bend it. Uh, not bend, but like undo this screw right here. You guys probably can't even see it, but undo this screw right here and just kind of pull it out a little bit. But other than that, it's not bent or anything this way or shit, so... It's perfectly fine. Um, but yeah, that's the first thing I wanted to get done because I knew I would have forgotten that if I didn't. Um, but everything else, I kind of want to just go over the damage that went through in the crash if you know that I went down. I was making sure it was recording. So um, this right here was always broken because, uh, you know, ghetto. But like it got worse, as you can tell. From the road, it just, right. we're having nasty weather here and the cars are freaking loud going across. But, um, yeah, that kind of just happened. But, I mean, I'm getting new fairings anyways, a little scrape right here. Other than that, radiator held up. I got zip ties holding that up and this mount right here that was holding that up. But something happened where that mount kind of just doesn't work now for some reason, but I'll fix that later I think it's kind of bent too far this way anyways and um, I need to get like some rubber grommet washer thing to make that make sure that shit doesn't fall out but yeah fucking ghetto ass radiator <laughs> um, the headlight back here thing fell out I think that fell out a long time ago though before the accident and then this thing's always been loose to the fucking thing because there's no screw holding it in because I don't have a mount um, this side, I mean, blank cable fell out. I mean, that, that fucking always happens even when I'm riding. So, yeah, this side really doesn't have anything wrong with it. I don't think it got hit on this side or anything at all. At least I don't think it did. I don't, I don't even know. Yeah, this side looks pretty much perfect and flawless. Still got my sticker on there. E187 sticker. Still got all my stickers on there. That's pretty cool. None of that fell off. My ram mount stayed there. Guys, ram mount. Uh, I know Motonocity pushes on that shit and that he says is the best motorcycle foam mount. Uh, if it went through a crash, I highly recommend ram mounts. They are fucking amazing. Got my Motonocity reservoir cover and Special K Vlogs. He's a local around here. Uh, met him over at the Austin meet. Be sure you check him out. Uh, yeah, Special K Vlogs got this. And then my uh, thing where I work, UPSers. Um, a little bit of frame damage here where it slid. Yeah. And then tank damage right here and big ass dent. Hopefully I can get those punched out and uh, repaired before I get a repainted because I'm going to get a repainted for the new fairings so it can match and everything and look all pretty. And, ooh. Um, let's see, going across up here. Got. This fairing damaged because, well, it slid on this side, but I mean, it was already damaged right here, but it just got kind of worse now. But I'm surprised it's still fucking held up. Uh, back here, you got my ghetto ass tail light right now because this fell off. Now, it wasn't because of the accident. Oh, yeah, over here, too. It kind of got messed up. Stay broke crew, by the way. I'm all over the fucking place. <laughs> fucking codeine. Um... 
But yeah, this tail light, this plastic piece actually fell off while I was on the freeway, and this was hanging there, and some guy stopped me and said, "Hey, your tail light's hanging," and I was like, "Oh shit," because this piece fell off. But when I get my new fairings, I'll get a new whole new piece of that and whatnot. Blah blah blah. Um, let's see, let's continue going down this way. Uh, this got a little bit scraped up, and yeah, it's not broken or anything though, but it got scraped up. Uh, the chain does look all right. Um. I don't see anything issues of lining in that and then or any or anything cares original stickers still there this right here I think it saved my bike these woodcraft uh, rear sets if you guys are looking for rear set get these uh woodcraft ones uh, they don't even say woodcraft on them it says CFM Motorsports but woodcraft your rear set saved my bike I think I'm pretty sure because these act as a slider, basically. They're a little bit bigger. I'll show you on the other side. All right. They're a little bit bigger, as you can tell. And then they got this little hole right here where it breaks off. And they also have, like, little other notches where they just break off. So that way, if you dump your bike like I did or you're at the track, they're made for racing. So if you're at the track or something and you fucking slide off, it's only going to damage pretty much that part and it's not going to be super small see mine didn't even cut off where it cuts usually supposed to cut off but it only cut off i think one notch and uh yeah that rear set's still there it's still big and it's a little loose but yeah i mean loctite fixes all that i'm gonna get a new one anyways and then this little shift lever kind of got beat up but i mean just sand that down a little bit we don't have to worry about my shoe getting fucked up it's not all, it's not all bent or anything. It's actually fucking perfect. <laughs> so guys, if you're looking for rear sets, Woodcraft rear sets, I highly recommend that. It worked as a frame slider to my bike almost. <laughs> now going across this way, I think I already showed you guys the frame and stuff. So going across this way, this is actually all right. It's all right. Kickstand's all good. Bobber tube, um, that one's all right. Uh, fucking radiator's all right, surprisingly. Um, let's get, keep going, guys. Um, this is a Woodcraft stator cover. Now, they don't come with this little skid plate. That's, this is fucking durable. Woodcraft, okay, Woodcraft, dude. If you're looking for bike stuff, Woodcraft is fucking amazing bike stuff. They're expensive. They, I'm not gonna lie, they're fucking expensive, but they are durable as fuck. As you can tell, it just slid across. I mean, there's no leaks in here. At all, at least from what I know of, there's no leaks. I started up the bike. I'll show you guys that later. It started right up whenever I got it, too. But, see, it's got this little skid plate right here. It usually goes on, and that skidded up a little bit. And then this is a little bit raised up than usual. Skidded across. You probably paint it black or get a new one, whatever. And it will look fucking normal. But, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's really the only big damage except for the tank and frame, too. But... Yeah. Also right here the grips got kinda kinda scratched up and then my bar in where the mirror goes. Well that got fucked up really bad. <laughs> but my mirror fell off during when I was doing a video, our dual vlog, do our little trip, whatever, a little ride. That actually fell off anyways and then I was gonna replace it but yeah, it got fucking scratched up pretty bad right there and the handlebar right here. I just got to kind of take off that grip so you can tell that it got a little grinded down, but new grips will take care of that anyways. Uh, levers, they held up. As you can tell, it just got bent right here. They actually did not break, and they're cheap Chinese levers. I thought these would break in an instance, but they still work. I'm going to get new levers anyways because, yeah, that play, because they're Chinese levers. Um cheap Chinese lovers, but they got like scratched right here, scratch right there, scratch right there. But uh, yeah, I'll be getting new ones of those anyways, and new brake lever, even though that one's not messed up. But all in all, dudes, the bike, she is all right. Hopefully this, uh, the voice recorded on this, but I think it did, because I think this still work. Uh, engine's all right, from what I know of, and this right here, these Woodcraft um, stand holder things for your swing arm. 
Those are all right. I'm surprised they didn't get scratched up or anything. So basically that rear set just basically, it was the only thing that it took from me. Um, and it's just the little foot peg. So all I need to do is spend like 24, 28, 29, 30 dollars for a new piece because you can get separate pieces for them. So other than that, she's perfectly fine. And just to show you guys that it works, boom, it turns on. That's not even the right time, what the fuck? And um, let's see, what, how fast was I going last time when I was 147. <laughs> Woo! That's fast. Uh, <laughs> all right. But yeah, lights work. All of it works. It revs up. Tail light works. Brake light works. Uh, Linkers work. Uh, everything works. So, yeah. Don't want to fucking piss off the neighbors doing this shit. Um, so yeah, the seat was ripped on here, so whatever. But yeah, new plastics are going to come in anyways. I'm going to get the tank painted and restored a little bit so it's all nice. And um, maybe new stator cover. I don't know if I'm going to get that right away because it's not even leaking. New rear sets, levers. Oh, shit. Everything's going to look fucking beautiful when it's done, all right? Well, I'm, I'm happy that my bike's okay. But yeah, hopefully I'll be back on the bike soon. I mean, I'm still a little banged up and got road rash and it's actually healing right now. And I'm got, uh, I got, what do you call it? I got a regular skin coming back on me. So that's a 10 out of 10, a regular skin coming back. So yeah, all the zip ties held up with the radiator. I'm surprised. Yeah, my radiator's kind of just hanging there. It's kind of close to my tire. I gotta kind of mount that the right way. Because all the mounts fucking broke on it, whatever. The original mounts and shit, but... That's always been like that. So anyways, guys, shorty on the 636, guys. Um, That's my bike. That's after the crash. Uh, not even a drop of oil came out. Not even a drop of fucking coolant came out of her. So, well, maybe some... Well, no, it... <laughs> it's still on the oil level it was so yeah guys anyways so we're out of six through six guys i'm out because i'm about to get some rest and take my pills and yeah she is all right hopefully the video turned out good i didn't want to use my phone because that shit's annoying to transfer files and whatnot but i'm surprised that i'm okay and i'm surprised that this is okay from what happened anyways Representing that careless original. Go get your shit online. Um, I'll catch you guys later. Hopefully next time I'll be on the bike, right? Um, shorting on 636, guys, and I'm out. Peace.